here with Robert Ravani of Black Lion Investments, and we're going to talk about a pretty unique project here called yeah. South of Fifth. Tell me, what, what's the most exciting thing about that project? So the most exciting thing is South of Fifth, once upon a time, was a, a beautiful re, um, neighborhood for residents. Uh -huh. They're the biggest high-rises, Continuum, Apogee, uh, Murano. There's all these beautiful residents, but the hospitality wasn't there. Okay. The ground floor of Marea was empty. There was a dark bar in Continuum. One ocean was empty. When I came about, I'm like, okay, I want to create a hospitality district. I want to create what Black Line is dubbing Restaurant Row. Okay. Right, and they just, you already had Kosushi in one building, a local hometown favorite, uh, Red Steakhouse. I'm like, how can we make it next level? Okay. So the first. So you're going out there and curating the right people and the right restaurants. Yeah, hundred percent. Personally, you're going out. There. You have to because right. you know the old developer that had put in the dart bar that was in the ground floor continuum. Is the dart bar really bringing traffic, energy, love? Is it bringing people that want to come to that neighborhood? No. Who wants to go to a dart bar south of it? Maybe you're in yeah. Wynwood or right. Hialeah or something like that. Maybe, but it's not for that neighborhood. Yeah. So we were lucky enough to buy out that tenant who said, hey, look, I made a mistake putting this dart bar here. And I'm like, okay. So I bought him out. What's the right brand? What's the brand that New Yorkers love? What's the brand that people in Miami love? What's a brand that is going to change the face of that neighborhood? And today we announced bringing catch. Okay. Right, they're opening up 20,000 square feet. They're opening up a rooftop. Wait, catch the same steakhouse, catch, crazy one, Dubai, the New catch, York. All right. The catch, that's okay. all over it. Aspen, Vegas, LA, yeah. New York. So we brought catch there. And that was the pillar for what we thought that entire restaurant row was gonna turn into. Uh, luckily enough, we also signed another major international hospitality group. And I think that's really important for people to understand that it wasn't a local group or from the United States, it's Gaia, yeah. which is um, owned by Bulldozer Group, Bulldozer Hospitality, which is in Dubai. And they have it in um, Dubai, they have it in, I think they're opening up in London shortly, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, they have one in Monaco. And so it's, it's kind of speaking to what Miami is becoming, which is a, a bit of a magnet. Hot spot. Right, in, right. What I want to call it, it's an international hotspot, right. right? Because if you have brands like that, you have all the local communities like, well, I can't go to Dubai to go to Gaia. I want to go to Miami. It's here in Miami. So I'm going to drive from Sunny Isles, Palm Beach, Brickell, wherever it is, because I want to go try it out. And when you bring a group like Gaia, when you bring a group like Ko Sushi, which has a Michelin star from Argentina, when you have catch, people like, I want to go to South the Fifth. Yeah. I want to go to that neighborhood. So people like, I want to live there. I want so it's a purely F&B play on your end? Purely F&B okay. play on my end. Okay. Yeah. And let me, let me then let's look, flip it to the personal a little bit. You're an Angelino. Right, raised in LA, yes. you recently decided you and your 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 wife yes. to make a move and make this home. Yes. What was that about? Um, COVID, you know, COVID really made us wake up to the fact that you can't, you don't have the right in Los Angeles uh, to live your own life. And, and how's it? How's the transition been? Two weeks here. Been wait, two weeks? Two weeks. Oh, we officially right. moved two uh -huh. weeks ago, uh -huh. and we've been coming for off and on seven, eight years. But I couldn't be happier. I'll never go back to Los Angeles or California ever again in my life. Well, wish you all the best with everything. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you.